Hello everybody and welcome to a short training about Take Samples but do it right. My name is Gesa Ringe and I'm working for Company Bürkle as Key Account Manager. In the following couple of minutes we will take a look at the theoretical basics about sampling, find out how to find a suitable sampler and see an overview about the most common samplers and tools. Let's find out how to take samples properly. First of all, I want to give you a short reminder of what Bürkle does. Bürkle develops, manufactures and distributes manual samplers for different applications, as we will see in the following. Pumps for different liquids, such for example, acids, alkalis, detergents, solvents or other flammable liquids. And plastic lab equipment and containers, such as burettes, spray bottles, funnel stands, laboratory trays, also small items like hose connectors or flow indicators and a lot more. Now we will focus on sampling. But what is sampling exactly? When taking a sample, a random test is taken from an overall quantity. These samples serve as basis for the analysis regarding quality assurance. The basic point is that the properties and the composition of the sample has to correspond exactly with the material quantity that has to be evaluated. Otherwise, you don't get reliable and authentic information. Sampling is done regularly regardless of the industry. You can say that everywhere where quality assurance is done, you need to take a sample. This is especially done in the pharmaceutical industry, food and beverage industry, chemistry, petrochemical industry, but also water treatment and environmental sampling. In the last years, we saw and still see a growing importance of sampling. This is especially because of rising importance of quality assurance, harmonization and standardization of quality systems all over the world, and also the validation of results. It is important that the processes are GMP compliant and in many, many industries, there are really high audit requirements and these lead to detailed, reproducible and controlled processes, which result in proper documentation of every step, such as sampling and also the quality assurance. Regular sampling is needed to ensure the quality of the final goods. The correct execution is an eminently important issue. Only with representative and authentic samples and reliable statement about the quality and composition of the material can be made. Sampling is the first step of the entire quality control chain and at the same time the most critical one. Defects and impurities during sampling call all further steps into question and cannot be compensated even by the most sensitive analytics afterward. A small part of a total quantity and its analysis result is used to assess the quality of a whole batch. Today the question is not so much how good a laboratory test is as how good is the sample itself, which is the basis for every laboratory test and the final result. The most costly and time-consuming sampling is the one that leads to false results. That can have far-reaching consequences, like subsequent investigation, erroneous destruction of the material, and so on. Sampling must be reproducible to ensure a comparability and need to be taken regularly to ensure high quality. To exclude errors, the sampling device has to be chosen according to individual requirements like demands, rules and conditions on site. The sampler must be appropriate for the individual application. For the sampling equipment itself, that means that they have to meet certain requirements as well. They have to be made of inert, not changing materials, so where no material can be separated or with does not react with the medium, so the sample is not contaminated. In addition, samplers should be quick and easy to clean, do not have any grooves or undercuts where residual can accumulate, and need to have particularly smooth surfaces to enable a quick and easy cleaning. 
Also, you have to consider the intended sampling technique when choosing an appropriate sampler. In general, there are three sampling techniques. The target sample, the or layer sample, and the bottom sample. A target sample is taken from a specific predetermined point of the material. So in the end, you can analyze the material properties at this specific spot. This is especially done when the material is really homogeneous. An all layer sample is taken from all layers of the material. So you get a representative cross section sample out of the whole material. This is especially done when the material is really heterogeneous and consists, for example, of particles of different sizes. Another option to get a representative sample of the whole material is to spread more target samples around the material. That means not to take just one sample from a specific spot, but more samples spread around the material. A bottom sample is taken from the bottom of a container. So in fact, it's also a target sample because it's taken from a specific predetermined spot. To find the right sampler, there are a few questions to be answered. First question and most important point is which medium should be sampled? So do you have a liquid, a powder, a granule or viscous media? Second point is what is the consistency of the medium? So is it free flowing? Is it sticky? Or is it really viscous or is it even frozen? Third question is from which type of container is the sample taken? So do you have a big bag, a jerry can, a barrel or are you in the environmental sampling? Next question is what volume is required for the analysis? So do you need for the analysis a liter or just a few milliliter? Then we have to answer the question about the sampling technique. So is a target sample required, an all layer sample or a multi-target sample? The last question is, is a disposable or reusable sampler required? A disposable sampler is required when a special purity and sterility is required. And when the material is really greasy, strongly adhesive or toxic. And when the cleaning without risk for the user is not possible. Unfortunately, there is no all rounder, so no sampler which can be used for every single application, every material. That's why Böckler offers a wide range of samplers. Samplers for bulk goods, powders, granules, viscous media, liquids, mineral oils, food and meat, and also frozen products and soils. Multi-usable samplers are sturdy and robust and have a high grade finishing. Single-use samplers, in comparison, are manufactured in clean room and available sterilized. In the following, we will take a closer look at single-use disposable samplers. Disposable samplers fulfill special requirements. They are produced in clean room class 7, individually packaged and available sterilized. So we offer two different versions, Laboplast, which is clean room produced, individually packaged and comply with EU foodstuff and FDA requirements and the Steriplast version, which is furthermore sterilized by gamma rays. The main differences between disposable samplers and reusable samplers are that disposable samplers are for single use, made of plastic. They are produced in clean room, individually packaged, optional sterilized and no cleaning is necessary after use. Standard samplers are for multiple use, are made of stainless steel, aluminium, PTFE or similar inert and high quality materials. They are constructed precise, undercut free, with very smooth surfaces for a simplified cleaning. The main target markets for disposable samplers are the pharmaceutical sector, food and beverage, cosmetic and chemistry. The main reasons for disposable samplers are high demands concerning purity, sterility and GMP compliant tools. Cost and time intensive cleanings with normal samplers, frequent sampling, high audit requirements and the handling with dangerous, aggressive or toxic substances. You can say that the higher the demands, the more they can only be fulfilled by disposable samplers. 
Advantages of disposable samplers are that they don't need to be cleaned after use, which is often demanding, complicated or in some cases even impossible. Also, the cleaning method and processes do not need to be validated during audits, which is really complicated because nobody can guarantee that the cleaning is done every time exactly the same way. With disposable samplers, all certificates are available, which is a huge advantage during audits. The work processes do not have to be interrupted by cleaning and cross-contamination is completely excluded. You can be sure every time you open the single packaging of the disposable sampler, the sampler is pure and ready to use. Also, the use of disposable samplers is a plus of safety while handling with hazardous or toxic media. All this saves time and money. Now I want to give you an overview about the samplers and tools Bürkle offers. Today we can say that for every multiple usable sampler we offer also a single use alternative or even an equivalent. In the following you will see on the right hand side the multiple usable standard samplers and tools and on the left hand side the single use disposable alternative which is always produced in clean room, single packaged and available sterilized. So we start with the samplers and tools for small quantities like micro spatulas and spoon spatulas. Then we offer different scoops. Scoops made of stainless steel like for example the pharma scoops and single-use disposable scoops made of plastic in different sizes from 25 up to 2000 milliliters. Then there are different spoons and spatulas. Also long-handled spoons and curved spoons made of stainless steel or a single-use alternative made of plastics. The same for the pellet knife spatulas. Measuring spoons in eight sizes available made of stainless steel or also a single-use alternative made of plastics. The same for the forceps in different sizes and different shapes. All small single-use items we offer also in blue and blue detectable, which is especially demanded by the food and beverage industry. In addition to the blue and blue detectable single-use items, we offer also a range of single-use items made of BioPE. These products are made of bioplastics, which is made of sustainable raw materials, in this case sugarcane. This means CO2 savings and thus reduction of the greenhouse effect. The range of single-use items made of bio-PE consists of scoops, spoons, spatulas, pellet knife spatulas and also long-handled scoops and spoons. The properties of these items are the same as explained earlier. They are produced in clean room, single packaged and optionally sterilized. Now we will see some samplers for liquids. Also here we offer standard multiple usable samplers as well as single use solutions. For example, dip samplers or scoops. And further multiple usable solutions for liquids like scoops, electrical solution like the vampire sampler, dipping bottles for really large quantities and deep depths, the telescopic rod and different beakers to reach also far away spots, and different vacuum operated samplers with hoses which also can reach depths up to 5 meters and access spots which are difficult to access. For viscous media there are also multiple usable solutions and single use solutions. Samplers for viscous media are used like a syringe to suck up the really viscous substances, which are not free-flowing anymore. Here you see different solutions for powders and bulk goods, such as the lances or the micro sampler for really small quantities and the very popular zone samplers in different sizes and made of different materials such as stainless steel, aluminium, stainless steel with PTFE or the single-use alternative 
made of HDPE. Further solutions for powders and fine granules are, for example, the Novartis Multi or UNO, which are samplers specially designed for pharmaceutical applications. With the Novartis, it is possible to get a double or triple sample from the same spot of the material without inserting the lens repeatedly. Mixing is prevented that way. Another solution for really tricky bulk goods and powders, which easily become stuck in between interspaces, is our new core sampler. This is available in three sizes and made of stainless steel. To complete our range of samplers, I want to show you some really popular and essential accessories. This is first of all our label Close It and Close It Food and Pharma. These labels are developed to close holes which occur during sampling directly out of big bags or bags appropriately. The back of the label is coated with a powerful adhesive. This means that it sticks firmly on most containers, even to surfaces, coated with fine powder, slightly moist or even frozen surfaces. The closet labels are also available as closet food and pharma with an adhesive which complies with the FDA guidelines. The closet are in general available in two sizes and in different colors and also as a closet tape. Last but not least, I want to show you some of our sample containers as accessory for the sampling processes. Different bottles, sterile bottles, sterile boxes and also sterile sampling bags. If you have any questions concerning sampling or need a recommendation, please feel free to contact me or my colleagues.